Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Madden 18 Ultimate Team, and as you all know, the Gold Edition does come out tonight, midnight on the consoles, uh, 9 o'clock in stores. Uh, I actually don't know how that extends. I guess I'm referring to all times Eastern Time, uh, but I don't know how the stores work. I buy all my games at GameStop, so I don't have much knowledge of the other stores, but I know at GameStop I'll be picking my game up at 9 o'clock tonight. I would assume it's similar to that um everywhere but that might be a GameStop thing but I thought they were talking about it just being a uh what am I trying to say being just a thing for all physical to give a incentive to buy physical over digital I don't know why they want to incentivize that because it's actually cheaper for the developers to sell it digital uh they make more money digital but um yeah the physical is being a little bit of incentivized to get it three hours early uh, i buy all my stuff physical because i like to collect the disc cases and stuff like that uh of games that i like or cover athletes and stuff like that so that's why i buy physical uh but today's video is about solo challenges and what solo challenges you should play uh as the game's coming out here soon obviously uh there's not that many so i'll go through them in I guess, order of what you should do. So you should start out and do all the kickoff challenges. Uh, they're really easy. You'll get the Julio. Uh, you'll get the Gronk. Uh, these will help if you don't buy any packs. The Champ will really help if you don't spend any money. And then the Power Up will get you an 81 overall Champ uh, without you having to do anything. So uh, these are definitely good to get out of the way first. 12 quick and easy solo challenges and then you come to the decision do you want to do the gauntlet or do you want to do the nfl journey if you do the gauntlet you can't get all the way through the gauntlet with uh just playing these solo challenges i think i got all the way through rookie and i just had to play one journey solo in order to get able to get to level 10 to do the veteran gauntlet challenges and then i have to get to level 15 and through doing these, you only get about uh, to like level 12. So then you got a lot of work to do to get to level 15. But as you can see, the level 15 rewards on this bad boy are pretty good. 51,000 coins in 8 packs. Uh, the rookie is pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty simple. It's really easy. Um... The gauntlet is a lot harder than the journey. The journey, so this is going to be cut. This is going to come down to uh, what you do when you get to the game. Um, I'll go quickly over the journey. It's something like seventy thousand coins in the Devonte Adams in nine packs is what you get from doing the journey. I think it's like ninety thousand and some for the gauntlet, but you got to level up in the gauntlet. So, if you do not spend any money, if you go no money spent, you don't buy any packs. You're just going to grind and get what cards you can. You want to do the journey first. They're easier. They're really easy. Um, I don't think I've failed a single one of these. Um, the gauntlet has some challenging ones or ones that can pose some challenges. That you might not have any problems with it, but you know someone out there probably had a struggle with it. Um, for some reason, I think it was the last, I think it was this one, where you actually get an elite. Uh, if you come all the way down here, this one, the 150 plus passing yards, 75 plus rushing yards, get the win and allow 100 fewer total yards. For some reason, I was like having a struggle getting the win. I couldn't get a pass from Tyrod to go to where I wanted to wanted it to go. So for some reason, I just struggled with that. And after beating that, you get a selection of some Seahawks players. I had the selection of a couple elites. So uh, this is definitely good for getting elites. But for difficulty and team purposes, if you are not spending any money, I would suggest the NFL Journey. If you are spending money, I would suggest the Gauntlet. Even though you won't be able to finish the Gauntlet completely, you'll then get access to the Stephon Gilmore and the uh, Zach Ertz for completing these, uh, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do those small ones first, and then I'll worry about getting the AP and stuff like that later. Uh, next, we'll talk about level challenges. So these just award you jerseys. It's four solo challenges for 5,000 coins, which is nice, but the jerseys, I guess, is what you want out of this, but I, you don't even know what the jerseys really look like. <laughs> and it's doing solo challenges for jerseys, which annoys me to begin with, so that's why I haven't done any of them. And I might not do them for a while because it, since they're the only reward, I don't really see a reward here. You do get uh, two, four, six, eight, 
you do get 40,000 coins for completing these, which is nice, but I might just wait till I'm level 28, and then actually, I'll probably end up playing them when I finish Journey, because I have a feeling we're going to start getting a flood of solo challenges, and what I don't want to have happen is that I never do the level challenges, because there's always new solos coming out. I think Gauntlet is like a reoccurring thing, like it's going to come out like every two weeks or something like that, so you're going to have a Gauntlet to play, because they're making it sound like they're going to put out trophies for you to get a lot, so that means they got to keep putting out uh, new gauntlets and then finally we'll talk about chronicles of long shot you got to get the long shot chemistry at tier one and then all the way up to tier three uh obviously um i don't have that but you can see here long shot uniforms an nfl rookie edition pack rookie season come all the way over here and if you'll go all the way to the end you get an NFL Veteran Edition pack. So these are actually pretty good solo challenges. They actually reward a pretty good amount of coins. But I don't have any long shot chemistry. And I actually don't really know how to get it. Uh, so here's a Gridiron Club reward. You guys saw yesterday that I played um, the long shot campaign. And so are we... Oh, no, you can't. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, bro, you can't do this. You can't be putting these guys... You can't be putting these guys in the game. Like, are we gonna get like a stack Devin Wade card? Cause this is gonna be stupid. Oh, hold on. Does this, let me switch if I can. Lineup tools. Oh, uh, why won't it let me change active lineup? There we go. Uh, create new. Lineup three, doesn't matter. All right, let me put these guys in the lineup and see if this activates tier one. But the, I, I'm kind of annoyed they put these dudes in. Yeah, this activates tier one. So if you play Colt Cruz and you play him, you can actually do those solo challenges. That activates tier one. And then you need another one to activate tier two and then another one to activate tier three. Uh, so that's not bad. Maybe I'll do a video doing those solo challenges or something. Uh, because they're kind of interesting, the Chronicles of a Long Shot. Uh, there's a lot of challenges in the rookie season. There's like none in these opening ones. So maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a video uh, going through these solo challenges. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do it. That was me discussing those and showing you the Chronicles of Long Shot cards. It's kind of annoying to have those in Ultimate Team. Um, kind of wondering how high overall like Colton Cruz and Devin Wade are gonna get. Because if they get up to like 90 overalls, that's just going to be stupid. If they're like 80s, I'm fine with that. So when you use an 80 overall Devin Wade, I don't care. But if they get like beast cards, that'll annoy me a bit. Because I want to see people running around with not real players in the game. So yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.